This is all the piano right here. Tito, give him those drums. Yes. Yes. Uh. Yeah. All right. Here's, here's the question that we all need to answer. And it's probably the most important question that you're going to be asked, not today, not this week, not this month, but for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Would you rather eat a tire or eat the same amount of weight that a tire is of sand? Ooh. Tire or sand? Ooh. Tire or sand? A tire or sand. A t what, are you saying tire? Yeah. A tire? <sighs> like the clothes you wear? <laughs> <laughs> Clarify. Yeah, no, it's a tire that's on a vehicle. Oh, my. We're not talking semi. We're talking just a RAV, a RAV4. Is that what you drive? I, uh, yeah, Toyota a RAV4. RAV4. It, it, but if it's hers, it's probably a little dented, yeah. scratched up. <laughs> Those, the treads okay. are gone. Yeah. Okay. No okay. treads on the tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bold. Dog yeah. on my car. Um, it's not really your car. It's who takes care of it, but yeah. <laughs> different story. Tire or car. Or tire or <laughs> not a car. <laughs> tire or sand. <laughs> you can't eat a tire. You, you can't You eat can. A tire. No, you can't. No. Yeah, you just, yeah. Then go, go, all right, then go for your answer. Sand. I would eat sand no with, a, with a caveat. I'd have a big old bowl of ranch dressing. Ew. A spoon. Honestly, that would probably make it worse. And I'd dip it in the ranch. You just ruined ranch for me for the rest of my life. You can't ruin I, ranch. You just did. I just now every time I eat ranch, I'm gonna think of grain, like just grainy, like it gets caught. In your, you ever eaten sand for real? Crunchy ranch sounds gross, good. disgusting. That's, that's gross. So you, tires? Yeah, I think I would go with tires. You would eat rubber. I would. You could. You couldn't. Could. Yes, you can't. Dude, think about this. You get a tire. You throw it on your plate. You get your steak knife, your steak fork. I don't know what that is. Mm. You just start cutting that thing up mm. into little pieces. Yeah. A one sauce. Oh, you lost me. A one. Ranch. <laughs> you, do you like you eat your steaks with ranch i eat my tires with ranch <laughs> it's fair enough. i'm going tire all day you can I'm throw it in the blender too. you can throw it in. so we can prepare it differently yeah for yeah. sure you're eating yeah. it oh. yeah deep fried sand you're just pretty much adding sand to sand there like it just you're adding crunch to the crunch yes oh, okay the crunchier the better the crunch. Do you like crunchy? Peanut you know what this this is? This is like chewy bacon or crunchy bacon. I'm crunchy bacon. All no, day. this is more like crunchy peanut butter or smooth peanut butter. Crunchy Ooh, peanut butter. No, crunchy, chance. crunchy, no, dude. You, crunchy all would, day. First off, why would you ruin something that's perfect? You, that's per peanut butter is perfect. I, Look. the flavor is so good. I just want a little texture. I no. like the texture too. No, definitely yeah. not. I put a little granola on my PB and J for a little crunch. That's weird. Have you ever eaten sand though, for real? Like, have you ever like fallen on in? purpose? No, on accident. No, on yeah, accident. for it's, sure. It's the it's worst. Actually, sucks. Yeah, even just a little bit when you, yeah. you accidentally get in your mouth, it's like yeah, the worst. I that's if when I go to the beach, the first thing I do is I don't put my toe in the water. I taste the sand to see what the rest of my week is going to taste like. Right. Because once you get sand in your mouth, it doesn't go away for at least a month. That's What's true. worse, worse, sand in your mouth or sand in your pants? Kind of like sand in my pants. <laughs> Dude. I would rather eat sand than get chafed. Dude, I know that is actually brutal. You're on va you're on vacation for like five days. And yeah, like you the get fifth chafed day, on day one. Walk. Yeah, you're just like, oh my just god, like, dude, it's <laughs> awful. Everyone is going to have having a great time. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit back at the house. Yeah, just soak sunburnt, in a bathtub. Sunburnt or chafed from sand. Sunburnt. Chafing hurts so bad. Sunburnt. I've never. Well, I've only been sunburned once. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was born with that melanin. Oh, yeah. You don't get burned. Interesting. Interesting. Me too. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Never been <How> sunburned. <laughs> Same, bro. So Same. I can't really have um, input in that. But I'm going tire all day. Yeah. Tire? Tire. I, I don't, I couldn't put a tire away. You can't put much away. That's true. You couldn't finish, you couldn't finish all the sand. If it you, would take me a while. Sure. Same I'd with eat the, the sand. Tire, yeah. I eat the sand. Put some on a burger. You're just ruining your food. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You just love crunch. But did I add, I would put ranch on it. Yeah, yeah, you did, for sure. But I, I did say that? Yeah, multiple times. Hmm. Multiple times. But it's fine. It's fine. It's a great question, submitted by a listener. Who yeah, was it? One of our one of our listeners. Who what was the name? Uh, Riley something. Yeah. Riley716. Find her on Instagram. Give her a follow. Can I weigh in on the sand? Sure, yeah, go what ahead. Do you Give us your thoughts. I have eaten sand. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It's, I'm a texture guy. Same. And sand is a delicious texture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, I like chewy things. Okay. So, so, it's, so I would I would love to have like a sand tire 
gumbo, maybe. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't think, think about, about that. Stew. Yeah, you boat. can make some good stew. A wow. tire stew, I could get behind. A tire on the Blackstone? Mm. You guys haven't Yum. been over since I got my Blackstone. Be good. A, a sand tire placenta oh, gumbo. Go. Yes. Can yes. we talk about placentas no. again? I've been thinking no. a lot about this. I actually... <sighs> Actually, you need to keep your placenta. Not yours, your wife's. My placenta. Yeah, not your placenta, but, you know, your wife's placenta. Okay. You need to keep, keep both it. of our placentas. Yeah, bring it to the show, and we're going to, we can, we do can a little show it. and tell next week. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'll bring my placenta. Oh, in. no. You should have, you should have just. My wait. pet placenta. It might be a little early for that next week. Two weeks. You're right. We'll two do weeks. show and tell again. Yeah. Bring the placenta in. It's a great idea. And the uh, umbilical cord. Okay. Bring it all in. Oh. All right. Not the baby. No. <laughs> Okay. Please not. Okay. <laughs> I don't care about Just the baby, dude. Okay. I'm not eating the baby. It's a little weird. Thank you. <laughs> you Thank you. I'm, I'm just, we're talking about eating things, and you said, That's I, don't want it, I don't want the, the baby great. to be sitting there and be like, I'm glad you cleared on the I, grill, you know? I know. I get it. <laughs> on accident. I just oh declared gosh. it as a girl. Can we take a guess real quick about your baby? Let's, Boy do, it. Or girl? Yes. Let's do it. Boy or girl? We're guessing. I don't know. <laughs> no, I know. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, you tell me, boy or girl? I think girl. I think it's girl too. I'm going with boy all day. Boy, all day. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see. All right, we'll see. MacGyver. We'll see Winner gets the baby. <laughs> what let's what would you name what would you name their baby? Ooh. That's a good question. Um, as a girl. Do you have one? Uh if I was going for a boy name, Felix. I do have an answer <laughs> when it's my turn. <laughs> Go for shout it. Out all the, shout out all the Felixes. Uh Joffrey. Shut <laughs> up, dude. <laughs> shut up, Kurt. Joffrey Schrader. Joff Honestly, Brody Joffrey Schrader, I like it. Or I, it's I, a female. Can we do you guys know? Do you guys know anyone who has a middle name that they they totally ignore their first name and you call them like their name is their middle name? Mm -hmm. Like me? Mm -hmm. That for real? Your middle name's Kurt. Yeah. yeah. yeah you What's your that? first name? My first name is William. William. Yeah. Yeah. And you're William now to me. I will I'm never cool call you that. Kirk again. I've okay. Cool. Made, it's never stuck. Never. If you can make it stick. That'd be a blessing to to you mm -hmm. and to me. We have William and Cargo Boy. William is our new producer. Congratulations. Welcome to the show, William. Can I be Squid William? No. No, your name's not Squid, dude. Oh. <laughs> what is, why Squid? Isn't that Squidward's brother? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> actually, dude, <laughs> look that up. His rival. Okay. It's, it's oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But they look like twins. It. They look like twins. Is Jake our new fact checker? Yeah. He knows everything. He does. He and does. He's everything about SpongeBob. And he's forklift certified. <laughs> he is. Are we uh, moving on to the next segment? Let's, we we've, got a, we've got a new segment today. we got a new one. Go it's ahead. called Kirk's Tomatoes. Kirk's Tomatoes. Kirk's Rotten Tomatoes. We're going to have to create a story. Kirk has come prepared. I'm sorry. William has come prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Get it right. With William's Tomatoes. we got to fix that graphic. William has come prepared mm. with a short story title for us. Great. We don't know what it is. He's going to tell us. And a genre for said mm. title. We need to come up with a story one word at a time. So I don't know if you've ever done this. It's going to be tough. One word, one word, one word with a beginning, middle, and end. And then Kirk's going to rotten tomato rank it zero to 100. I'm really distracted. You have a giant bruise on your leg. I do. I, I, I keep... Yeah, <laughs> that's a little too much leg. What happened, bud? Paintball. You played paintball? I did. When? Uh, a couple weeks ago. And you have a bruise that big still? Dude, it's crazy. And who did you play paintball with and you didn't invite me? <sighs> You're right. Me and wow. Diva went. Without you? You you did not play paintball. There's no chance. So that's a lie. Who'd you play paintball with? Be honest with us. I played paintball with some coworkers who are better friends. Better friends. Yeah. They're my paintball friends, okay? You guys are my podcast friends. <laughs> my paintball friends. What level are they? Um I don't have number level. I have category friends. Okay. Paintball friends? Mm-hmm. Podcast friends. Wow. Uh, Inverted scale, though. <laughs> oh, I like what you did that. That's very good. Yeah, that's kind of bull crap, though, that you, yeah. didn't, you, didn't, I did, you didn't even tell me about it. Though. I didn't like, put the no thing pictures, together. Pictures, like, I didn't put it together. No I didn't stories. want to make you jealous, dude. I know, but now I get to see a bruise, and I now know. I found out that you play paintball without me, dude. I should have worn some pants. William, can I borrow your pants? They are slippery. Yes, they're slippery and they're cargo <laughs> pants. Yeah. yeah. They slip right off. All right, one, one word story. One that? word story. Sorry for interrupting. Kirk. William, will you please give us the title to our story? This I don't know if this is a major factor in this, but this story 
title was created by ChatGPT. Yes, ChatGPT. Is that very important? important to very know? important. Yeah. Well, it's also demonic. Yes. <laughs> what? The story. Okay. The name of the story. The name of the story. You ready? Can I say we're it now? Ready. Okay. God, we're freaking ready, dude. Is the forgotten melody. Oh God. <laughs> the forgotten melody. Okay. Like you forget something, you know. But yes. a melody is like the main. The main musical, yeah. Wait, why are we doing music? These he doesn't guys even are, know yeah, what what's melody, melody. He doesn't even know what melody what's means. The, is that the chorus? <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't give any any like distinction on Chat GPT. This is the title it gave me. The forgotten. It gave melody. us the forgotten melody. Now, also, Chat GPT has provided the genre of the story. You ready to hear that too? Yep. Okay. Magical realism. What's slash the f- <laughs> What? what is I, this, Kirk? I have you guys to, never never read like you know uh, what's the one where they made a they we don't uh, know. Uh, oh come on Ella Enchanted they made a movie about it is a book oh dang it I can't Wrinkle in Time is magical realism oh, okay. Wrinkle in Time never saw movie. that movie so so the story is the, view. The, the, for, the forgotten melody <laughs> and the genre is magical realism aka something like Wrinkle in Time aka don't oh. know what that is okay. also known Boy. as Okay. All right. We gotta do a one word at a time. Can Who's we starting? Like start with like a like. Okay. Go ahead. Um. All right. I'll go. Okay. Once upon a time, babies were born, and they went all together to the. Carnival at the Florence (laughs) Mall. (laughs) And (laughs) one of the babies forgot the diapers. (laughs) What'd you say? Luckily, a toddler started singing do, re, (laughs) mi, fa, so, la, ti, da, do. (laughs) They pooped all day. But the diapers were not absorbent. (laughs) (laughs) There was a massive musician (laughs) who saved the Day by singing a forgotten melody. Whoa, <laughs> come on! <laughs> just crush that. Thank I you. swear, if that we do dude, that, was good. that was good. That was great. Florence Mall, there's a carnival at the Florence Mall right now, and it looks like a death trap. Like, it looks like people go there to die. Legit. Oh my gosh. I drive by it every day and I cry for everyone that's on this Ferris wheel. There was a, was there, there was a beginning, middle, I, and end of that story. Yeah, yeah the babies. Went together. They forgot their diapers. There was a toddler who sang. Yep. And a musician. A who, massive musician. A, a massive, massive musician. Yeah, I was going with like more like a massive uh, like streak. You know, like, <laughs> okay. just like we were trying to say the poop, like poop streak. <laughs> poop Train. always comes back to poop. Yep. All no, right, Kirk. go ahead, Kirk. Rank it if you were to go see the movie theater. <laughs> Come on, critic. That movie zero to one hundred. Yeah. Rotten Tomato score is forty six. Are you kidding me? Forty six. <laughs> Actually, not bad. you know, I'll take it's it not for bad. real. Yeah, we'll take listen, that. it. Listen, this it was I was expecting magical realism, and I didn't True. really get that. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The babies were by themselves. Like that is magic enough. Like they, <laughs> it's a good these point. were magic babies it's that point. forgot diapers. It's a great point. No, it's a terrible point. Also, <laughs> also critics are always the worst. Dude. They have I, the worst I will opinions. say this. The the score was much lower until I realized something crucial. It was I I had to watch the movie twice, which as a critic, to watch it twice, pick up on this little Easter egg, that this massive musician was a giant. <gasps> that means that that was 
that had an element of magical realism. Yes. Mm. But as an audience member, I when I go to a theater to watch a, a movie called Forgotten Melody, I expect the melody to be forgotten. Mm-hmm. And I expect the realism to be magical. So that's... Go ahead. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. So is the, the musician actually a giant or is it just an adult that looks like a giant to the babies? Do you want your score to be lower? Yeah, what are you saying? Just he just made the, the point. The... Okay. I, I, you, I wrote the story. Lost, I didn't do I'd the take movie. A 46. You lost, I'll take a 46. You lost two points on what? that. Dakota, okay. We'll your, take a 44. 44% on, on Rotten Tomatoes. Put your Stop. hand down. Put your hand down. Stop. <laughs> you have another question? Nope. It's getting worse. Okay. It's getting worse. All right, All right 44. 44. I'll take it. Great job. Hey, great That's good. Job. job. That's we'll do better next time. Yeah, we'll always improve. Always improve. Set the bar low. Yeah. No expectations, and we'll come in on top in about two months. Every Rotten Tomato score has wrong. always been different than what I thought. Yeah, just 100%. like totally wrong. Yeah. So 44 is actually pretty much a 99 yeah. audience score. I agree with that. So yeah. I agree with that. Never Take agree that. with the critics. Do you, guys ever, do you guys, before you go see a movie, when, first off, when was the last time you saw a movie in the theater? Well, last week. What did you see? Guardians. Time. Was it great? Oh, it was so good. I better, cried. Better I cried. Than the other ones? Uh, yeah. It really? was so good. Perfect ending to the Perfect trilogy. You saw Guardians? No. Why not? You love superhero movies. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. I do not. What was the, when was the last time you saw a movie? Probably last fall. I think the last time I saw a movie was when we went and saw Batman. You hated that movie. I fell asleep yes, during that. Dude. It, our friendship w- w- suffered after that. Here's my thing. I've, I, I can't go to the movie theater and not fall asleep. That's like the most peaceful time of my life. <laughs> That's true. Like, seriously, like get those, out of the house, they, they get away from the kids. They have a full couch yeah. for me to sleep on. That's not fair. They're, That's true. They're still my money. They load you up sure. with just food and drink. Well, that's me, but yeah. <laughs> that's just my, those are my choices. That's true. I know I got to talk about my food intake oh, all dude, the time. I, stop. No, I wasn't going there, dude. You always do that. Though. I wasn't going there. You, you did. look you great. Put, you look great. Thanks, man. I smelled coffee on my shirt this morning. I know. I saw. All right. I want to know who your daddy is. Whoa, Mike Draper. Speaking of, that's what family. I want to know. Mike Draper. I've met your daddy. He's a great daddy. But I want to know who your daddy is. Okay, we're gonna do a segment. Can you say that one more time? Who's your daddy? No, say it with the little gravel that you. Daddy. Have. <laughs> that's what. That's great. Who's your daddy? That's perfect, dude. I want to know who your daddy is. All right. Again, Kurt coming in clutch. William. Uh, William has picked three totally unrelated things, and we need to decide. Which one is our daddy? All right. Which is like our, what What does that mean? Our your favorite? daddy. What, who's your daddy? Do not get the freaking question. <laughs> it's in, the, sorry, it's no. in the name. <laughs> who's your daddy? Okay. That's all we want to know. Got it, got it. Okay. That's all we want. Who's your daddy? When one is taken <laughs> off the board. Can we define daddy for, for friends in the room? Yes. That's what I'm okay. saying. So I'm daddy, <laughs> mommy, <laughs> not mommy, daddy. Got it. Great. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. It makes sense okay. to me. So I sense? was asking for okay. someone else. Who's your daddy? Once one's picked, you cannot... Pick it again, okay. and you've got to stick with your choice and tell us why it's your daddy. Who, we, oh, who chooses the the? William? William's gonna tell us. Okay. Can Cargo I, Boy tell us? No, I have a Rotten oh. Tomato score for your performance on this as well. <sighs> we gave, um, we gave him way too much power. We did. So just a question. I I mean, I have three random pictures. Yep. Up here. Can I also explain the pictures, or does it have to just be you have to choose the picture? Sure. Whatever. Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. I just wanted to know. How, yeah, what's your expectations? Whatever, for Daddy. This? Do your okay. thing. He's not. I'm not one of the pictures. Da- <laughs> oh <laughs> my! So three funny. pictures of Kurt. <laughs> <are> just <laughs> mad. I'd pick all daddy, three, Daddy. Oh I hope. Man. I hope this is people. So all right, funny. let's go, Kurt. Okay, first of all, this oh. is this is a uh, brisket? brisket from your favorite local barbecue spot. Okay. Okay. City barbecue. That's my daddy. You don't. You can. You can choose which which spot it is. This is a pullover shirt the color of your skin if you are cargo boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a generous beige. It's very tan for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. And yeah, the last was- one is okay, it's not the guy. <laughs> it's the guitar and it's a guitar covered with stickers some of which are inappropriate. So, here are your three things options again. So random. First of all, brisket from your favorite barbecue joint. Cargo boy skin tone polo, which is not and Guitar with inappropriate sticker. Millennial guitar. What Millennial are, guitar. What are the stickers though that are inappropriate? You can't see that. We actually blurred out the most inappropriate one, and you, you don't don't worry about it. It's just really inappropriate. Great. It's who's go, of, who goes first? Yeah, you have to choose. I, I kind of want to hear that guy sing right now. Uh, Debo, you, he you sounds can go like first. this. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's, That's pretty much all he does. What Debo gets to go first. Classic. Go ahead, Debo. I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose the guitar. Okay. Why? Because um, the I do. <laughs> I love. I'm I play so the guitar. Musical. I'm so musical, and I feel like I would write some cool hits. Yeah, but why is it your daddy? <laughs> why is it your? What do you inter- mean? You're you are appropriating the, 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 the segment. I, uh, why is it your daddy? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Just answer the you, question. Why is the guitar you your dad? I don't know. I guess I want it to be. Good answer. <laughs> Great answer. All right. <laughs> sir. All right who's, who's next? Yeah, William, who's next? Who's next? William, who's next? Dear next me. up is Brody. Okay. So between the cargo boy shirt or the brisket, I I am picking the shirt. Of course you are. Shirt, the shirt is my daddy. Okay. Here's why shirt this cargo boy shirt is my daddy. I want my daddy to be. Can we please stop saying daddy? It's making me <laughs> uncomfortable. It is a segment. I'm sorry. Don't don't stop. Daddy needs to be very bland and basic. No. Okay. But yes. My, I need my daddy to be bland and basic, but confident and very strong. Okay. You're telling me cargo boy wearing that shirt doesn't give off big daddy energy. <laughs> BD. You're not dude. getting cargo boy as your daddy. I, He's not your dad. It's the shirt, first of all. So don't don't bring Cargo Boy into That's the picture. That's fine. It smells like him, and it smells like Daddy. It can't <laughs> smell like him. It's not his shirt. It is. It was. It's no, his it's, skin it's tone. his skin he tone. He said that was his skin. You know what that shirt's going to body. You know what that shirt is going into a shirt. You're going to be sunburnt for the rest of your life. That's fine. I'd rather be sunburnt than chafed. <laughs> That's a good point. It's a fair okay. point. And honestly, it's my daddy. The way you described that shirt, you described your real dad. He is so pale. So my pale. dad doesn't tan, he freckles. He but he is confident. <laughs> Very. He's pretty bl- basic. He's so basic. Yep. What you get with bland him? Bland as what you, it all get it, like it, bland. Easy. Easy. I love you, Brad. Easy. <laughs> he's a wonderful man. Wonderful. Okay? But you get fishing. what you get with my dad. But he's strong, he's confident. That's right. And he is he is the musk of daddy. You know? <laughs> That's what I want. That's what I want. And I know what you're gonna Smell say. It. No, brisket musk is not. That's not daddy. I don't musk. want brisket. Musk. That's what you have. Yeah. I, 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 you got I brisket. Not about the musk. So tell us why brisket is, me, is the me, is me, the better me, dad. Me, 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 me. I want the meat. <laughs> Give me the meat. That's all I want. I want a meaty daddy. Okay. That's <laughs> good. Give me the meaty daddy. That's a great argument. You know? That's a great argument. Dude, that's flavor there. Dude. Yes. That's, that's flavor. True. Every time that's you true. get brisket, it always tastes different. I want a little flavor in my life, a little spice. Give me the meat. I I I can get behind to that. To be fair, to be fair, I would have picked the meat over all y'all stupid daddies. I know, my I daddy know. beat your daddy all day. Don't do not talk about no, my daddy's daddy better than your daddy. My daddy, dude, my daddy would beat your daddy up in a fight, one hundred percent. My wow, daddy would get sauce fine. all over your shirt. That's fine. All right, here we all go. Right, set it up. Who's your dad? Who's your daddy? Part two. Part two. We're gonna draft three rounds: fictional, TV, and movie dads for who we would want our dad to be mm-hmm. in real life. Mm-hmm. Okay, Debo, you're gonna start us off. All right. Go ahead. Who's your daddy? That's gonna make a joke. Who's your daddy? My, my daddy, number one pick, is Phil Banks. That's a great pick. From Fresh Prince. Great pick. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a TikTok about his life and I cried the other day. So you cried. The yeah. character. You, you for real. The cried. character. The character. Cried. Okay. Cried. Character. All right. Wow. Am I? I'm not second. Am You're I? up. You're up. We're going around. Oh gosh. Um. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Oh I'm going uh, Peter Griffin. Dude. Peter Griffin, <laughs> one over what? one. Why didn't I go second? Peter, 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 Peter. He's a great dad. He's a great. He does not care about his kids at all. He has a great life. He's a great dad. I would have no, no consequences. Rule. I would have no rules. No rules. Yes. Dang it. Dang it's it. Great. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. That was my number one pick. Well, you're up, pal. Okay. All right. Are we snaking it? Or are we going back? Are we we're snaking it? No, we'll go in a circle. We'll go in a circle. <laughs> William, William said, "Okay, okay." We're in a circle. <laughs> um, my dad, E. Thank you. My daddy. I had Peter off the cuff. I. All right, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Um. Oh, I got you. I got it. I got it. Mister. Phineas and Ferb. 
What's is his there, name? Is and there, Candace. Is there dad in the show? Yeah. Dude, he's English. Remember, he's from London. Yeah, I don't remember him at all. He's so I don't forgettable, him dude. Either. What? Bad choice. He's so forgettable. Bad choice. This is a first round, bro. We'll we'll decide it in the comments of this video. Okay, great. It's done. He's it's a decided. great dad. All right. I got my second. Okay, go ahead. God, you really are prepared. Second. From Full House. Oh. Danny Tanner. Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Danny Tanner. Okay. It's a all right. great pick. All right. It's a good pick. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna top that pick with Jesse. He's also a daddy in that show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he is. No, he is. No, he freaking is. He is. He's not a father, but he's a daddy. <laughs> he's Uncle a daddy. Daddy Jesse. Uncle Jesse is a daddy for uh, sure. My number two pick. I'm going um, fairly. Oh, wait, did I, yeah, I did a cartoon. I'm sick with the cartoons. Fairly Odd Parents dad. What? Timmy Turner's dad. If you're going to say Phineas and Ferb's dad is forgettable. Yeah. Timmy Turner's dad. Is absent. That's Timmy, why Timmy he Turner. has. Timmy, that's Timmy why Turner. he has Timmy, the Timmy fairly odd parents. Great. Again, I don't. Uh, obviously, I don't want I, my dad a part Cosmo, of my life. I don't. Cosmo's want, a better dad. I don't want my daddy a part of my life. That's what I'm saying. Uh, with both my picks, we, we've got to settle this off, Eric. Yeah, Mike Draper. I already have a real daddy. I already have a real daddy. He's a part of my life. All right, here we go. I should need to text him back. Round two, Mr. Krabs. He's. The, he is a daddy. Mr. Krabs is a daddy. He's got that whale. Can we talk of about a daughter. that? How does he? <laughs> how is his daughter a whale? Who did he it, make love with? It doesn't make sense. With, um, <laughs> <laughs> you think about the the school the driver teacher, uh, from mm -hmm. Magic School Bus. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? No, I was thinking about no. Oh, uh, Frizzy. Yeah, Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle. Miss yeah. Frizzle. She's, she's a mommy. Not a, she's not a, she's daddy. a mommy she's for not sure. A daddy. Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs. It's great. Third round. Okay. My last pick. Gosh, she's too dialed in. I don't she like is, this. I don't like this She's Debo. kicking her butt. Um, last pick from Family Matters. That's a, Carl Winslow. He's literally in a commercial right now as like the TV dad. Like she just won. Yeah. She waxed us. Damn. Yeah. No, there's <laughs> nothing to say. I don't she even know what to us. say. I don't even know. Uh, sorry, she got all the daddies. My... We just she... got dads. <laughs> I got papas. Okay. <laughs> papas. That's all I have. Okay. All right. Um, my third pick. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Whatever that guy. The Mr. Universe. I don't know what his name is, but uh, he's Star-Lord's dad. And Star-Lord oh. kills him. Yeah, what's his <laughs> he's name? A great, he's a great dad. Yeah, dude. dude. He he's a great, great dad. He, he really great. cares about his son. He does not care about killing people or their homes. It's great. He's a great dad. He, he fits really... your like real like broken. -ness. Yeah, the theme yeah. that yeah. you have going on. All right, all right. I, I I'm gonna slide into second place here with this because <laughs> we're not beating Debo, but I'm gonna slide into second place. We'll leave that up to William. I just lost him. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my daddy. Hold on. Oh yeah, here we go. Staying on the Marvel train, Tony Stark. Is daddy? Is he a dad, bro? Yeah. At the, at the end, no. That's that's <laughs> that's a fair question. I would have gone with Mr. Stark over Tony Stark. Daddy Stark. Miss Mr. Stark was also a very a dad? good dad. Did you just ask if he was that, a dad? She hasn't seen the movies. I have not seen the movies. She has not seen the movies. Are you kidding me? That doesn't come into like the last movie of the whole thing where he yeah, dies. Chill out. Relax. Spoiler. Dude, spoiler. Spoiler. Bro. Spoiler. <laughs> spoiler, <laughs> spo spoiler alert. Oh, dude, he is such a good dad. For like 15 minutes Literally for the 15, of a movie. No, not even 15. He has hours and hours of movies, and we see him be a dad for two minutes. Yeah, but he's a good dad. How do you know? He knows money. He dies. He's got that money, dude. He dies he, so fast. He didn't leave her with emotionally with anything. No, he did. He, he recorded the video. Yeah, yeah, but, after yeah. He, yeah, he recorded a video for Peppa. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig and his oh, daughter. Oh, you thinking Pepper? <laughs> no, Peppa. 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 <laughs> Peppa, how you doing? Kurt, hey, do Peppa, you wanna, how you doing? Do you want to let us know who won? <laughs> no, I don't really. Let's no, just go, tell us who got second. Next, let's go to the next segment. Nah. Let's move on to the next segment. Who's your daddy? Part three. Um, <laughs> it, what, you guys were not locked in. You weren't. Who, it, who are you looking at? I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking at Brody. I'm looking at Dakota. You guys, I, I know. you seem to be distracted. I forgot to Google before I got here. Right. Yeah. You pull, 
I, I she just said TV answer, dad. Answer I this question. I genuinely can't believe that the three that she picked in all three rounds made it. I mean, she picked Carl Winslow in the third round. I didn't grow up in the 80s. I don't know any of these TV shows. That's fair. He is super young. He's like 20. <laughs> yeah. You're Mr. Phineas and Ferb. I can't remember the guy's name, but he's great, great dad. He is Mr. a good dad. Mr. Gra Mr. Krabs. As a single, a single dad, single he's doing a dad, great job. I know. A is great he? job. Well, Mrs., Mrs. Pearl is a mess. Pearl is a he's mess the whole time. Mess. He his, did his best with her. Okay, <laughs> he, did, some, he cared more about the Krabby Shack than he did about Pearl. His no, it's no, the Krabby Shack. I reject that. He is money hungry because if he wants to take care of his daughter, he's that is that is a no. That is a, he is dialed in on everything but his daughter. Everything else, he does it for her. It's I don't all know for how her. he could miss her. It's all for her. <laughs> <laughs> she's a big girl, <laughs> but huge. here's wow. the. She's a She's whale. She's a whale, dude. Is it? Relax. She's not a real bro. person. Relax. Oh my gosh. And it, I was talking about her personality, anyways, dude. <laughs> she, She's got that's a her huge problem. personality. She a, she's going through her identity crisis. And Mr. Krabs, I would love to know the scenes where they're in the same scene together. They're never together. That mm. is not true. Fact mm. check that. Fact check it. Jake. I'll tell you though right now. The <laughs> only <laughs> Jake pulls out his phone. The I only person, the only person that could straighten out Pearl is Mrs. Puff. And we all know Mr. Krabs. And Mrs. Puff had a little thing on the side. Is Mrs. Puff her mom? Mrs. Puff is Mrs. Is Puff her mom. The secret formula <laughs> to a healthy family. Why isn't Plankton? Why isn't Plankton going into that formula? Oh, I just heard this co conspiracy theory about Tell me. the secret formula. The secret formula that Mr. Krabs doesn't want anyone to know is hidden in the name of the restaurant. What is the name of the restaurant? And the name of the patties that they cook. What are the names Crabby. of any of those? A crab. crabby patty. Crabs. Crab. Crab meat? It's just a crab cake. Mr. Crab Crabs cakes. doesn't want anyone to know that he's cooking up all his real kids. What? <laughs> That's why Pearl is adopted? Is adopted whale. He cooks his kids and no. puts it in the patties, dude. That's How many wives does he have? Oh, I think crabs have like thousands and thousands of fact babies. Fact check it. That, I don't believe that. Fact you're gonna, check you're it. You gonna fact check that? No, but you're whatever. saying fact check or fat check? Fat check. Way of pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That, that is, is pretty crazy. crazy. He doesn't want anyone to know because then he'd be put out of business. Can you imagine spending your whole life coming up with conspiracy theories about cartoon shows? Do I get paid for it? No. Just then a yes. Hobby. It's just. <laughs> Then yes, I could definitely do that. It's just a hobby. I could it's definitely just do a that. Hobby. Let's. Yo, yo! What? I don't know if you guys heard that, but that... our our audience fact checker says 2.5 million babies at once, which will start a franchise. That wasn't Jake. That, that was start a franchise. Jake. Great, that fact true fact Great fact check. Great fact check. That is our true. Our... You're hired. <laughs> He's hired. Um, uh, it's, hey, can great. we go back to the the Who's Your Daddy segment too, just to declare a winner? And sure, I want to point a couple things out. First of all, Debo, congratulations, you won. Um. Wow, there's applause. Get it. Applause is happening. I could win anything if Can I Googled I, it and made a spreadsheet. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> did, you, did you Google top, top family or top? I sure did. Because that's what were you they, know what Were they number too. three? Were they, was, were they yeah. top three? No, they weren't top three. Actually. Top five. No. They but were. of the top ones, you chose ones that you knew would win and you wanted them. The ones I believe. A hundred percent. hundred percent. I'm gonna say this though. Our audience there, don't know anything. There's some audience. I'm, I'm actually gonna poll the audience here. We have a studio audience today. And I just listed a couple a couple different dads that I, I think you left on the board that I'm surprised you did. And I'm gonna I'm gonna ask our in studio audience if it's okay with you. Sure. Show ask them, William. It's your show. If, if there's anything, them. if there's any dads, daddies, mm -hmm. um, thank you. It, yeah, that are left on the board that were went undrafted that you're just shocked by. Okay, so if you get that, and you will, I'll we'll shout them out. One for me is uh, Nemo's dad. Oh, oh, oh my god! What's wrong with you? Gosh, yeah. uh, wonderful. Uh, another one is uh, <sighs> Ned a, Stark. What is wrong with you guys? Ned, Ned Stark. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Ned Stark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, and that's the third an one. This is tricky. Audience. This audience I might get voted down for this, really but doing, John Wick. Dude. What was I doing? John Wick is a dog dad, and he's one of the greatest dog dads that's ever. That's enough, dude. That is and enough. His wife was pregnant. We are when she, all listen. Her, his listen. wife was pregnant when she died. 
Spoiler alert. Also, um, we're all Lisa, cat dads. Here, Liam okay? No, we're like, not. Don't talk yes, about me are. like that. I'm not a cat Taken, dad. Right? We are all. Oh, that's a Liam Neeson from Taken. He's you know. See, that's the opposite. Yes. That's the opposite of what I'm he going let for. His though. daughter <laughs> get so. Taken, dude. He okay. he's not that yeah. good of a dad. So, audience, yeah. go ahead. If you got anything, just go Olivia ahead. Olivia has one. Olivia. Move. Oh Mufasa. my gosh. Mufasa. He's like yeah. top. Like really, he's dead. really, because no, yeah. Mufasa really? is daddy. He's dad. Oh, it's dude. And you know not. Yes. Oh, yeah. he, Actually, he is not their biological Daddy. dad, just so you know. Daddy. But yes, from that Alvin is, and the Chipmunks, not, David, yeah, that's good. the guy who yells, Alvin. Alvin. Yeah, okay. I do. My right. kids love Daddy. Alvin and Chipmunks. What else? Who else was left on the board? Nigel. Bob's Burger. Bob's Burger. Bob's Burger. That's good. Yeah. I had a roommate that's good. who loved Bob's Burger. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. He did the Tina yeah. twerk all the time. <laughs> Can you show us? I got you. Whoa, <laughs> Tina, get it, Tina, get it, Tina. Hey, watch out. <laughs> God, now I want to have a mark on my head. All right, what's our last segment? Are we, we have something before our last segment? Or we got no, 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 I'm, I'm, I, I found myself in a bit of a toe jam. <laughs> that is disgusting. I found myself in a bit of a jam mm-hmm. just this last week. And I, I emotionally cannot process it. And I need help. From does, my, does anyone know? Does, does anyone know? Does anyone else know about the story? You guys, you guys know some details of the story, but I don't know how to process it. I feel like I've been alone in this. Oh. I don't know what to do. Does, so, does it have to, anything to do with walls? No. Wallpaper? No, 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 no. <laughs> I know my emotions about that one. Someone ripped the wallpaper off my office. <laughs> We're not going there. Let's go. No. Listen, we all know. A little background to the story. We all know. First picture, please. I'm a cat dad. Okay? I'm a cat dad. What in the we, world? We all know it. I'm unashamed. That's freaky, dude. That's my, my, one of my six cats, Calico Kitty. <laughs> Calico Kitty. She loves it when I put those little cat ears on and we rub noses together. <laughs> I hope you hang out with your paintball friends more than me. Dude, <laughs> listen, li- I, I, emotionally, I don't know how to process this. I love cats. We know, yeah. Okay, love cats. Thank you. We got a couple no, cat, don't. Got a cat, got couple cat lovers. Person. Please don't urge him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm not alone in this. I'm, uh, even if I was alone, I don't care. I don't care. I'm a cat dad. Yeah, sure. I went on a work retreat with some friends. And with some coworkers. Let's be very clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I play paintball with them. They're my paintball friends. Cool. Okay. Dwight and Schreiber. on the way back from paintball, mm-hmm. we found on the side of a road, mm-hmm. this like middle nowhere road, central Ohio, a baby kitty cat, little baby kitty cat. Is it a baby kitty cat or just a kitty cat? Look at this cat. Oh my gosh. That's ugly. actually really cute. Dude, it's so cute, ugly, right? No, Look cute. at that. Cute. I hate cat. That, that is feral. That it, is feral. It has so many diseases. It looks like it's crying. It, it literally was, looks like a rat. Abandon on people do this. People will just leave litters of kittens on the side of the road because they don't they don't want them. Their barn cats have litters and they just throw them out on the side of the road. This cat was alone, and we found it. Mm-hmm. So a good friend of mine, Stacy, grabbed the cat off the side of the road. Yep, and said, "I'm gonna, I'm taking it home. I'm taking it home. She's got some kids. She thought this we need a pet. They don't have a pet. She's gonna take home the cat." She has four. She has four kids. She has plenty of pets at home. She wanted a fifth one. She wanted a fifth. Okay. She grabs a cat. She, I mean, look how tiny and cute it is. No. She goes, "I'm taking this home. It's mine for two straight days. We are nursing this kitty cat back Aww. to health. the The bond we made with this cat, Stacy in particular. Look at that picture. The cat even fell asleep on her lap. I think there's a picture of that. Oh. You kidding me? It's actually, really cute. This cat went been from cuter if it was in the cup. The brink of death. <laughs> Those are fighting words, dude. Dude, it'd be a cute picture. Don't tell me if you put a little kitty cat in a cup, it wouldn't be cute. Okay, fine. I'm not wrong. This cat went from the brink of death to a family that cared about him and nurtured him back to health. We had little bowls of warm milk that it was drinking out of, and it would sleep with us. This cat was loved. Well, Stacy apparently prematurely committed to taking this cat home because her husband Robbie, our good buddy, our our that's a friend. That is a best friend, right there. This is my friend. I'd play paintball with him. 
<laughs> okay. Robbie texts her and goes, you're not bringing that cat home. As a man should. No. No. As a monster nope. should. Look at that cat. Stacy wrestles with this. Doesn't tell me the whole time that she, like, has been told no mm -hmm. by her husband. Without me knowing, the last day of our retreat, she grabs a cat, jumps in a car, and puts this cat back mm. on the side of the road and abandons it and leaves it. A true hero. I wish you could see our audience's face. They are shocked. A true hero. Right now. Left this That's cat. Really sad. To die. There is no other reality mm. for this cat. This cat is meal. dead on the side of the road. I do not know how to remain friends with her <laughs> and how to emotionally process the abuse of this poor animal. I have a thought for you. What do I what do, what do I do? How do I how do I approach her and you tell have, her? You have six cats. Well, I would have had seven if she just would have said, Do you want to take this yeah, cat for home? Sure. So you have six cats. I have two cats. You said six, so you're lying to us? Okay, you have two cats. Well, I have a even, couple imaginary makes it, ones. It makes it even easier. <laughs> yeah. Take one of your cats, yeah. put it in a box, give it some warm milk if that's what you do, drive it to the, to the tutor's house, knock on the door, set the cat down, run away. Then they have to have a cat. So then now they feel the responsibility of taking care of a cat even though they didn't want it. So you are replacing, no, stop. You are replacing the agony that you feel for that cat by giving them a gift. That doesn't help me. No, it helps because you. No, I have no, it more gets rid of one of your cats. Agony. It's helping you. Relax. It's helping dude. you. Just it's, relax. It is helping your life. I don't I didn't even want you to talk during this segment anyways. So just you, you said enough. Deborah. Well, I hate You're cats an animal too. Love. Just So, I I want to preface everything. You don't I hate have cats to like too. cats. No, it is To know sad. that's bad. It is. That's yeah. bad. No, I um, What do I do? How do I Remain friends with her? What, what am I supposed to do? I would just have a hard conversation with her and tell her that... Should I wear the cat ears in the conversation? Absolutely. Okay. You should. All right. um, take a note of that. You did not take any notes right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of the cats. Dogs are better. For your sanity, so you're not reminded every day of that dead cat in the middle of Hawking yeah. Hill, get rid of your cats. Yeah. I think every day you, who do you be think reminded. Ate, who do you think ate that cat? A person, a I, deer. Uh, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. What what predators are in Hawking Hill? Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know what happened to the cat. No, well, we dead. know. No, we, we know. It's absolutely dead, know. dude. It well, is dead. Uh, the, I mean, the, the sad reality of this is that that it was not eaten by a predator. It was hit by a car. Yeah. It's, it's, it's roadkill. It's a it's pretty a quick qu death. Quick death. It's a quick death. So that's that card that doesn't that. make it any better. That card didn't feel that cat make it at any all better. Either. The more you, I look at the little kitty cat, I, I do feel something. Yeah. You know the only cool cat to ever exist? Puss in Boots. Oof. Only cool cat. That's fair. Yeah. Only cool. Not the only. Well, he's a cool cat. The only cool cat. No. He has a freaking sword. Garfield? Not cool. Lazy. Mufasa? Bro, you are the human equivalent of Garfield, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that a bad joke? Maybe. Wow. I'm Odie, and you're Garfield. I've never seen Garfield or Odie. You or would any love of Garfield. That, but you anyways, would love Garfield. Anyways, here's anyway. what I, here's what I think you should do. <laughs> I think you should forget about the cat, move on with your life, fix your friendship, and you're good. Congratulations. And turn into a cat, dog, da, da, dog dad. Uh, dude, I'm not gonna turn into a dog dad. Hey guys, um, you're now officially gonna be a dad in three weeks, right? Is that right? Am I on two? Three. Sure, something. Two like and that. a half weeks. Forget the cats. But anyways, that's all we got for you. This has not been helpful at all. <laughs> that's what we're here for. BFE, baby. BFE, yeah. thanks for tuning in to Total Line Episode 1. Oh we God. freaking love you guys. And dogs. Meow. <laughs> not cats. You guys weren't helpful at all. I, dude, I feel worse. I don't care about your cat issues. I have too many issues of my own <laughs> to care about your cat issues.